parade. For many of you, I'm going to throw a wet blanket on your dreams, because tonight I'm going to talk about the landmines, the mistakes that people make in starting a small business. Then in a few minutes, we'll talk about the problems in running a small business. Now, why I sound so negative about business is because we're going to learn from the pain and suffering of other people without having to go through it ourselves. Matter of fact, you know, what we're going to be talking about this evening is that in order to run a successful small business, you've got to be supported by three things. Marketing, which is another word for selling. Production, which is producing the product or service. And administration, which is a $10 word for paperwork. You've got to have all three of these things under control. Now, we at Wayne State University, 25 years ago, could have put together a workshop like tonight based upon what we thought folks like you needed. But we didn't. We could have put together a workshop like based upon what you thought you needed, but we didn't. What we looked at is what people truly do need, and how we discovered that is by looking at hundreds of thousands of business failures to find out exactly what went wrong, and then come up with a specific solution to that specific problem. So while it sounds very negative, what I'm going to do is also give, tell you about the problems tonight and the solutions. This was our hypothesis 25 years ago. If you eliminate the reasons that business will fail, the only option is for them to succeed. succeed. And that's the reason our students are succeeding at a 96% rate. The first one is owner's personal characteristics. Personal characteristics. You may want to write this down. This is on page 7 of your workbook. This has nothing to do with marketing or production, so we put an X under administration. Owner's personal characteristics. Nothing upsets me more than to see people on TV at 3 o'clock in the morning or people at the, the Novi Business Expo trying to sell you a business opportunity or somebody, even somebody over at your friend's home and they'll stand up and they'll look at you right in the eye and say everybody should be in small business. They know the statistics as well as we do. Only one out of four people in the United States has necessary background, personality in order to be successful. Three out of four are better off working for somebody else. Matter of fact, this is so important that in chapter one of our starting a small business class, we have a 25 question analysis comparing your background, your personality with other successful entrepreneurs, see how well you stack up. And if you fail that exam, it doesn't make you a bad person. Rather, all you do is return the material so we can process your refund. But not everybody should be in small business. Now, there are 25 specific characteristics you must possess. But there is one characteristic that is head and shoulders above all the other 24. One characteristic that we call a deal breaker, which means if you don't have this characteristic, don't take our classes. It's a waste of your time. But whatever you do, don't start a small business because it could waste your life savings next two or three years of your life. The characteristic that you must possess, you may want to write this down, is a thing called willpower. You've got to have willpower. And because no one's going to call you up and, you know, and, and tell you to balance the checkbook. No one's going to call you up and tell you, you know, how to do the payroll records or something else. Or no one's going to call you up and do uh, cold.